Hey Aries, we're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. It's a general reading for April 27th through May 3rd for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. In this moment, what are five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one you can taste? Okay. Little mindfulness thing there. And we're gonna pull three cards from the Osho Zen Tarot for Aries. General reading April 27th through May 3rd for Aries. Okay, for your past we have creativity. So you were feeling uh, a lot of creative, this is a major arcana too, um, you are feeling a lot of creative energy and um, you were co-creating with the universe around you and you were in tune with the cycles of nature and just really going in harmony and uh, getting creative with creating your life in accordance to how you know where the divine wants you to be and everything um and then for your present we have receptivity so being more receptive of everything all messages from everywhere from every direction and um, taking the guidance that it gives you this is the queen of water um she's giving she's nurturing she listens, she's very attentive and very receptive. So maybe you're having to uh, become more receptive or someone around you is being very receptive or you're being very receptive. We'll see how it plays out. For your future, we have the source. So this is a reminder that if you ever feel that you need any vital energy, you're fe feeling tired, which Aries, I mean, you have to get tired at some point, right? But this is basically you right here. Um, all you have to do is like dig down deep and ask for more energy from the source and focus like on your, you know, your sources about like two inches below your belly button and you just focus there and usually you'll feel a good vital energy rush. But let's see. Can I get five card shadowscape deck or shadowscape? Who I can't talk right now. We're gonna do a shadowscape spread here for Aries. General reading April 27th through May 3rd for Aries. And your current situation is five of cups in reverse. Um, perhaps you're feeling a little bit like, here's it right side up. Um, a little bit remote, like at a loss, maybe focused on the wrong things, perhaps. Just like over, yeah, overwhelming loss, recovering from grief or something. But it does suggest like you, you can seek support outside of yourself and, you know, ask for help from the source and be receptive to the answers that you receive by like either, you know, messages in nature or people or in your dreams, in your dreams most of all. In your recent past, we have a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is kind of like stubborn, not moving, you know, not being responsible for their, like, you know, just kind of be, like, neglectful of their resources or the resources available to them. So maybe someone kind of got in the way of your creativity, your creative energy, we'll see. Your abilities for this upcoming week is Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So you have some unhappy work, you're feeling tired, and that's why you have to return to, like, re return to source. 
either you're unhappy with some kind of results or someone around you is unhappy with results or the work they're putting into something. But this is like, uh, like kind of like feels like, oh, I'm putting in all this work for nothing or just like overworked, not satisfied. And then for your love, passions, and interest, it's the Empress in reverse. So either you're having trouble with a mom or you're, you as a mom might be having trouble with your kids perhaps or being at, you know, being just coping with being a mom. Um, you might even have a creative block happening because this is your love, passions, interest. So this could be like work or love. But, like, the passion is gone. The, you know, the warm, abundant feeling is gone. The giving nature. And then for your outcome, we have six of wands in reverse. Someone might be feeling, like, like, lo like at a loss. I don't know, like, let down. Feeling like something didn't come. The, the web that they, they built didn't come out to how they wanted. Didn't turn out how they wanted. And so there's like a ha a need to return to source and get inspiration there because you might feel drained after that type of situation where someone's either being cold to you or, you know, something's being, someone's feeling super like at a loss. Can I clarify the Empress in reverse for love, passions, interest, please? Knight of Cups. What the heck? So, romance, idealism. Someone really, really passionate and inspirational came in. But it's kind of like they took it away or they're taking it or something's being taken away because someone, you're feeling at a loss right now. And you're being either being receptive and needing like pulling out for answers or like uh, nurturing or you're being very nurturing. But it feels like you just feel like kind of exhausted. Like all, your work or someone else around you's work has just been for nothing and they just feel like something just didn't turn out the way they wanted. And, like, there's a block, like a creative block, a love block, all of it, work block, whatever. Can you please clarify the Six of Wands for the outcome, please, for Aries? The Fool in Reverse. Someone was being impulsive and inhibited, in, like, having no inhibitions and perhaps made like a, I don't know. Because the Knight of Pentacles is another like immature kind of energy where someone's being like neglectful or stubborn. Yeah, you just really need to return to source and get back to who you you know, your fiery self. Something. Page of Cups, illusion, lots of illusion. Yeah, I'm really confused. I can't even see straight. This is like a really thick Spread. I'm gonna pull one of them. I'm gonna pull a medicine card for you, Aries. April 27th through May 3rd for Aries. Swan. Okay, handle this with grace. Handle this with grace and beauty and just like, I mean, be true and honorable to yourself. Also, if you're into numerology, check into that. But yeah, um, hold on one moment. I want to make sure. Yeah, Grace. Let's see. The Swan card is telling you to accept your ability to know what lies ahead. If you are resisting your self-transformation, relax. 
It will be easier if you go with the flow. Stop denying that you know who is calling when the phone rings. Pay attention to your hunches and your gut knowledge and honor the female intuitive side. I mean, you, yeah, you're super intuitive. You can co-create with the universe very, very well, but you kind of get carried away a little bit sometimes. But something, something didn't turn out as you wanted, and it's, like, disappointing, and there's a lot of illusion. And naive energy. Just come back to get graceful. Be graceful. Co-create with the universe. And return to source. It, it, you might just need to calm down and return to source so you can get focused. Because your energy is great. It's great to have a lot of energy. But if it's all over the place, it's going to be all over the place. So if you just get return to source and hone in and focus, you can really use your energy for a graceful purpose and really feed and co-create with the universe and not all, you know be enriching and fulfilling and your life can have purpose and all of that stuff. So when you can focus a little bit cuz this energy is out of it's, it's disappointing and it's like but it's dizzy super receptive like you're reaching out for all it like help like look not look at me look at me but like you have so much to offer so it is kind of like look at me look at me but whew, yeah all right well i hope that helped aries and thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week thank you